Hello and welcome to the first episode of this new channel where I show you some of my favourite things to do in the country I live in. This is Things to Do in Wales. Today's story starts more than a hundred years ago across the border in England. Manufacturing in the city of Birmingham had been developing rapidly since the start of the Industrial Revolution. And by the Victorian era, the city was experiencing a population explosion. There was a problem though. Slums, bad sanitation and a lack of fresh clean water led to outbreaks of cholera and typhoid. The solution lay across the border in Wales, over 70 miles away in the Ellen Valley. Almost 130 years, six dams and a 73 mile aqueduct later, the results are amazing. Some go to the Ellen Valley for its dramatic views, others for tranquility. Because the watershed area has been protected for over a hundred years, so has the wildlife. There are over 180 species of birds in this area. It's a large estate covering 70 square miles. You can drive to each of the dams, but there are also walks and cycle tracks for all abilities. I really recommend starting your trip at the visitor centre. They do an excellent job of explaining what made this area the perfect choice for the Victorian engineers who decided to create the reservoirs here. They also have regular exhibitions and there are rangers on hand to help you make the most of your visit. As far as getting here is concerned, the Ellen Valley really is one that you're going to need a car for. If you're staying in Wales without a car, I'd say it's probably worth hiring one just to make this day trip. With its central location in mid Wales, it's going to take you about two hours to get here from the towns and cities in the south, and about three hours from those in the north. If you do visit, I'd love to hear how much you enjoyed it. You can contact me via my blog at things to do in Wales. I really hope you've enjoyed this first video, thanks so much for watching. I plan to make plenty more because there are so many brilliant things to do in Wales, so please click that subscribe button and then click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. You can also visit my blog at thingstodoin.wales. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon.